My phone. Question is, do I answer it? I mean, we've all seen the signs. Do not use mobile phones, danger of explosion. Is there? I mean, if I answer this now, here, the whole place goes up in a fireball. Will it? No one knows why it's supposed to be dangerous to use mobile phones around petrol. The whole thing started when there was once an explosion at a filling station when someone was using their mobile phone. So, obviously, it had to be the phone that caused it. Now, the theories go maybe the battery caused a spark between the contacts on the bottom. Or maybe it was something to do with the electromagnetic radiation from the phone itself. Or maybe the bloke dropped his fag. Who knows? So let's find out. Now, if this is going to work, obviously it would be cruel to kill a car. So let's kill a caravan. <coughs> right, it stinks of petrol fumes in here. And uh, here's some more petrol. Should do. Here's the telephone. Don't ring me now, Mum, please. And uh, here we go. Right. <clears throat> here we go. Ready? Here we go. It's ringing. It's still ringing. Hmm. Doesn't look like that's going to blow. Okay, that was poor. I reckon try more phones. If, as long as I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. If we've got six phones, is anybody's on vibrate? Because that would help. Yeah, that would yeah. I don't know. Okay. It might. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We know the numbers. We can dial them. I'm going in. <laughs> Nobody phone. It won't be funny, all right? Um, I'm going to have one there. One there. One there. <coughs> really smells in here. Cool. <coughs> and one there. <laughs> I'm getting that over Right. Numbers at the ready. So when you've got your numbers in, don't press send. I'll do a three, two, one, and we go. But that's so that's three, two, one, then go. Right. Okay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, send. I don't think I don't think that's working either, is it really? No. Nothing. So, the mobile phone isn't gonna blow up the petrol station. But we thought of something else that might. We've got a brainiac, some nylon clothes, a bucket, and a piece of wire. Why? Well, they do all these signs telling us about the dangers of using our mobile phones at petrol stations, but they don't say anything about the dangers of nylon clothes. You see, when synthetic fibres rub against our skin, we get a, a tingly sensation. That's caused by static. Static, of course, can generate a spark. Now, our Brainiac here is going to do some dancing in this bucket, in his nylon clothes, to generate that static. The bucket is here to stop him from being earthed, so that when he touches this fuse wire, the static will be transferred from him to the wire, down the wire, and blow up the caravan. That, at least, is the theory. Here we go. Dance. Generate that static electricity. Feel the charge build in those synthetic fibres. Not being earthed because of the bucket, that's what it's there for. We're going to go for it. Okay. Static generating brainiac. Okay, here we go. I've got the fuse. Are you ready? This is it. <laughs> that was your clothes! <laughs> That's astonishing! Good static. So, look out for the new sign at your local petrol station. Do not wear nylon whilst filling your car. You've been watching Brainiac, Science Abuse. Tomorrow night at 9 on Sky 3, Danny Wallace presents an intriguing look at conspiracies. 
Meanwhile, tonight, Joe Pantoliano orchestrates the undercover movements of LA's FBI in episode one of The Handler, next.